Hi, thanks for stopping by to watch me, Leia, cook kosher. Today I'm going to show you how to make my fabulous babka. Before we roll out our babka, we're going to need to make the crumb topping and have that ready. What we have in the bowl, three simple ingredients, another half a stick of margarine, sugar, and flour. And for this, I recommend a hand beater or a pastry cutter because we want to make a real fine crumb for our topping. So we want to keep beating this, incorporating that flour into the margarine, and we're not, we don't want to make a fine paste or anything. We really want it to be a crumb topping. So you can see it's a real sandy kind of powder, and that's what we want. I'm just going to give this a couple more mixes, and I think we are good with that. Okay. All right, you see how that will just shake right on top of that babka. And I know from my customers that there are some people that love a lot of this on top. Okay, so we're just going to set that aside until we're ready to use it. Now let's do our most famous babka ever, the chocolate babka. We're going to start with our sweet dough and we're just going to stretch it out, try to get a little bit of a length there. And we are going to roll this. Don't put any flour or anything because we really want that dough um, to stick to the countertop, not keep rolling back. And then just lift it up, give it a little tug. And then start on the width. Again, we don't want it to be too wide because we want it to fit into our loaf pan. Sometimes you can just pick up the edge with your fingers and then you don't have to um, work it so hard with the rolling pin. Stretch it out. And it's looking pretty good. Okay, now the chocolate. So we're going to make our chocolate filling. And in a microwavable bowl, we're going to add our chocolate chips, cocoa, sugar, margarine and vanilla and we're going to put that into the microwave just until the margarine melts chocolate chips are softening and then we're going to stir it we don't want to put it on high and burn everything up okay i'll be right back so as you can see things have melted down and i'm just going to stir this the chocolate chips are melted the margarine is melted and i'm going to keep stirring until it's smooth. We'll set that aside until we've rolled out our dough. If it's tightened up a little bit, just give it a little shot in the microwave and then you'll be all ready to go. You can see it's soft enough to spread. And I'm just going to slather that on. It could be melted a little bit more, but it's fine. I usually use the white bench scraper for this. My little white bench scraper. Um, I love this. You know, it scrapes the edge of the bowl or it scrapes the top of the babka really straight. So, and now I can see that I let my chocolate get a little too cold, but I'm not going to worry about that because where it's going, it's hot. Okay, now again, lift up that edge that's closest to you. And again, we're going to just start and roll away. Pull that dough out. And get that twist, that roll going. I found to give it a little bit less of a stretch because we don't want the layer of dough to get so thin that the chocolate doesn't have enough support, basically. So... I am lifting, but I'm not stretching it too much. I'm just going to glide it up. So now you have this nice long rope, and we're going to, you know, if you're not good at guessing, you can just figure out where half is. I'm going to take my knife, cut it in half. I always put 
one end op the ends opposite otherwise I mean they tend to be thinner so it balances out the loaf and start in the middle and tuck that try to get another spin and we're going to grab our pan that's already been sprayed and we're just going to lift that babka in slip it in going to roll that in there now I can feel it it wants to spring so we're just going to let it rest a minute take our egg wash and if any of you out there are wondering yes I have finally seen the Seinfeld episode about the chocolate babka and then really sprinkle it liberally with our nice crumb topping chocolate was always the fastest selling in the bakery too sprinkle on that crumb topping we're just going to let this rest for 10 minutes so i'm really not letting it rest till double in bulk or anything like that i'm just letting it rest for about 10 minutes all right let's take a peek inside the chocolate one mm. still nice and warm makes it a little harder to cut when it's so nice and warm but look at that chocolatey yummy mmm yum <laughs> <laughs>